Hello, this is Norma and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some Liberian split peas and meat gravy. So this is the split peas that I'm using. It's a 16 ounce and it's Goya and it's the yellow one. You can use any kind you want but I'm going to use the yellow one today. So I have some in my pot. What I did, I took some boiling water last night and I doubled the size of the split peas and I just put it in my pot and I left it overnight. So it's been soaking about 10 hours and this is what it looks like after it's soaked. And then I washed it and I put um, and I drained it out. So now I'm going to put four cups of water. And I have some pork jaw, the smoked one. I'm going to put it in there. And I'm going to put some black pepper. some salt give that a stir I'm going to bring it over to my stove and I'm going to cover it make it come to a boil and then I'm going to turn it between low and medium and let it start to cook so this is the beef that I'm using I'm using a beef chuck shut ribs but you can use any beef that you want and I'm just going to steam it in its own broth first so I have some bell pepper I have some onion pepper and I forgot to tell you that you have to put some onions in your um, in the split piece I forgot when I first started but I added some And now I'm going to put some chicken nor seasoning. Some garlic powder. You can season how you want to season it. Some black pepper. And I'm going to give that a stir. Cover it and put on my stove and let it just steam in the own juice. So the meat has steam in the own juice. I'm gonna put some water in there. And I'm gonna cover it and put it back on the stove to cook. Now we're gonna move on to making the gravy. I have my oil going and some onions. I'm gonna put bell pepper and habanero pepper
And now I'm going to add my tomato paste. Now I'm going to add my fresh parsley. And I'm going to add my diced tomato. This is the one I'm using, but you can use any kind you like. You can also use fresh tomato if you want. It's been frying for 20 minutes and I'm going to season it. I'm going to put some Maggie Cube in there, three of them. Some black pepper. chicken nor seasoning give that a good stir and let it continue to cook The split piece has been cooking for about 30 minutes and I have it on medium low. And it's just going to hang out and keep cooking and we'll be back. Now I'm about to transfer my meat into the tomato.
right now I'm going to cover it, turn it on medium, and let it cook. It's been an hour and a half, and if you see the split piece has started to break up. I will just continue to cook it. So the split peas and the gravy is ready. And I'm going to take some out of the gravy. Out of the split peas and the split peas I ended up the 16 ounce I used 12 cups of um, water so I brought it up to boil and I turned it down to medium low and I had it cooking for two and a half hours so now I'm gonna get some of my split peas out Split peas and gravy is ready. Please subscribe, like, and hit that notification button so each time I upload, you will be notified. Bye bye.